Oh, what's up guys? All right, I've got some cinnamon tea. I have a whole bunch of empties that, my oh my, I, every time I do these and I feel like I'm a broken record, I say this at the beginning of every empties video, I feel like, how do I have this many things that I went through, but I do. And that's a good thing, because that means I'm using up what I have, and so I've got some pretty strong feelings, one way or the other, about everything here. Okay, let's start with makeup, because I'm always excited when I've used up makeup. The first thing I used up, I've already repurchased and have been using, is from Hourglass. This is their Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. This is a tubing mascara, and I always struggle with how to explain what that is, because when it was explained to me before I'd ever tried one, I was like, I that sounds weird. But basically, when you're putting it on, the formula will coat individual lashes with like a tube, if you will, and the reason it is different and special is because it doesn't just like wear off. It's it's not technically waterproof because all you need is warm water to like, it just like comes right off, which is amazing. But if you have like slightly watery eyes, it will not smudge at all. Like it stays in place so well. And if you are someone that deals with flaking, these kinds of formulas do not flake. So I really, really liked this one. It gives crazy volume and it doesn't flake or smudge. But there are other ones just like this, but they're all around the same price point. So there's this one, there's the Thrive Cosmetics one that I also really, really like, but this is just easier to get because I can order it on Sephora. Is Thrive Cosmetics now on Ulta though? Now that I'm saying that, I feel like I remembered hearing, maybe it was, I'm not sure, but anyway. Really, really like it. Like I said, I've repurchased and I'm using it. I didn't use it today though. Today I used the e.l.f. Lash It Loud mascara. And you guys, I just, it's like two coats and it's just like, Phew! but you will get a little bit of smudging like seven or eight hours into the day. So that I do think is important. I think it'd be pretty cool if e.l.f. released a waterproof version that hopefully is like the exact same formula, but just waterproof. <laughs> Anyone else get freaked out when someone drives by your house and like slows down and you're like, what? Okay, <laughs> so another thing I used up, and I keep saying I need to repurchase and I still haven't. This is the L'Oreal Le Liner Signature. I talked this to death, so I'll be brief. This is just a retractable liner. There's like teeny tiny bit left, but it's, I love this for the waterline. It stays better than any other liner. It's not quite as creamy as like the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil, but it really stays in the waterline so well and it doesn't transfer, and that is why I've just been obsessed with this. So. I will repurchase, highly recommend if you need something to be in the waterline and not budge. And another liner, waterproof as well, Physician's Formula Liquid, what do they actually call it? Their Eye Booster Waterproof Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. I, this stuff is awesome. I have repurchased it, yeah, because I think this is my old one, so I already have another one open. I think the packaging is cute. I'm talking really fast, I know, I know, I know. I think the packaging is really cute. It's got like these water droplets on it, and I love it. It's a brush tip, but I feel like it performs a little bit more akin to a felt tip, which I like, because it, it just, I don't know, I can always get a really nice mini wing with it, and it's fantastic. So, moving into skincare, one mask that I honestly, it's one of the only masks I have used in a while that I really, enjoyed and like looked forward to using and I don't always have the time to do a mask and leave it on and then wash it off so when I do I want to make sure I'm using a mask I actually like and I really haven't used a lot of sheet masks lately I don't know so this mask from fresh it's their lotus youth preserve rescue mask it says it's got like seaweed in it and I have to admit I hate the smell it smells like cucumbers there's a tiny bit left in there I really enjoyed this. It made my skin feel like refreshed and like rejuvenated. Do I know whether or not it was making huge changes in my skin? I'm not sure, but I will say if ever there's a time where I just feel like my skin's a little bit more dull than normal, or I just feel like maybe I can feel breakouts coming on, when I would use this when I'd feel that in the evening, and then the next day I'd feel like I would wake up and I wouldn't have the breakouts and my skin would look a little bit brighter. So I really enjoyed this. I would actually consider buying this again. I just wish the smell would be different and not there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So next up, I used up this Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV. It's got SPF of 50. It's kind of more of like a, um, not glittery, but like glowy 
moisturizer SPF. And so I would use it kind of as an all-in-one, which is definitely my favorite thing to do right now. I really like this. You can get it for around-ish $10. The price changes every day on Amazon. And I know you they sell it on YesStyle as well. I think it's really, really lovely. It's not quite as glowy as like the, what is it that I'm using? I can't think of the name. Oh, the Super Gloop Glow, I know, Super Goop Glow Screen. Super Gloop sounds way funnier though, right? That one definitely is glowier than this, so if that's too much for you, you might really, really like this. So I used up the May Love The One Cream Moisturizer. I really enjoy this. It feels so moisturizing on the skin. I would use it at night. You can also use it during the day. It does pretty well underneath makeup. Another thing I've done with this is mixed it with a face oil and put it on my face, especially in the winter. It is amazing. And I appreciate that this doesn't this doesn't have a super noticeable smell or anything like that either. I used up, okay, well, I've almost used up this Tatcha The Essence. This was sent to me in PR years ago, you guys. I have been trying to use it up and finally it's starting to smell weird and I'm like, you know what? It's not worth it if it's off to try to finish up this last little bit. I don't know that I really notice a difference with this. Essence is something that I go so back and forth with if it's more of like a hydrating essence because I really enjoy them, but it's definitely an easy step to cut out of your routine if you're, you know, if you're trying to save time. And so I, I wouldn't buy this and I wouldn't recommend anyone buy it, honestly. I just didn't feel like it was doing anything. Another one is from Fresh. This is their Sea Berry Cleansing Oil. I liked it fine. There's a little bit left. I'll probably bring this back to my bathroom. I just brought it in here today. This was fine. It has a slight smell. I feel like Fresh skincare always has some kind of scent. It's, always, it's different every time but I almost never like it. Like, what is that? I do feel like this removed my facial makeup pretty well. It did pretty well on my eye makeup as well. But with the smell, there's so many other cleansing balms and oils out there that I don't feel the need to go buy this one because I don't think it was like the best one I've ever tried. On the same vein, this Drunk Elephant Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser, I did not buy this one. I was just honestly using it up. I think it's fine. I still prefer the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I just, I, that's just my favorite. It doesn't dry out my skin, but it still cleanses it. And this is fine. It cleanses my skin. It doesn't dry it out, but there's just nothing special about it. And since it is more expensive, I just don't think it's worth it. Speaking of more expensive, the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic Acid, I used up this little bottle just because it was starting to go bad. I prefer the May Love Glow Maker for my vitamin C serum. I use it every single day. And this one has the smell that I could only describe to you as hot dog water. It smells exactly like hot dog water. I'm nervous to smell. Yeah, <laughs> it's dead on. It is dead on. I thought it was fine as a vitamin C serum, but it's the smell for me. And also the May Love one per ounce is cheaper than this anyway. So another thing I used up was this whole thing of Aquaphor. I've been refilling my little travel size Aquaphors because I use it on my lips everywhere. I have one in my nightstand, one at my desk. I've got one where I get ready. I've got one in my purse. <laughs> like I have them everywhere. So when those are emptied out, I will clean it out and then refill it with this. So I've used a whole one of these up, which is awesome. And I absolutely swear by it for my lips. All right, moving on to like body care. I used up the Tree Hut Bare Moisturizing Shave Oil. This is their coconut lime. I'm currently using the vanilla one that's like the same product, but in purple packaging, different smell. I like it, it's the same product. The smell reminds me a lot of Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works. Remember that smell? They still make that smell. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I like it, but I'm very particular about vanilla smells I like. I know some people love it. I think Taylor Wynn loves that smell. So I think when I'm done with that, I'll probably go back to this one. They might even have a third scent. But all of that to say, this product though is lovely. It is different than like a shave cream or lotion. It is just an oil and you, so you don't really see it, but you put it on your legs and I get such a close shave and yet it's still moisturizing. I have not gone back to shaving creams or lotions ever since discovering this. I love it. That's not true. I did go and I tried one other brand and I don't remember and I hated it and went right back to this. Also used up the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt. This is their Soothe and Sleep. They have a couple different ones. I've already bought another one and I might have 
instead of the Soothe and Sleep, I think I got the Relax and Relief. I love these. It's, you know, cost effective because you don't need a lot. And again, I don't get bubble baths a ton, so I don't go through these super fast. But I really do think it is an absolutely lovely bubble bath. I love that there's Epsom salt in it. I typically end up throwing a little of this and a little bit of like a bath salt in as well. But, you know, that's just the way I do it up, baby. <laughs> okay, so if you are a Grove Collaborative member, their hand sanitizer gel, their, this is the blood orange scent, is almost hard to come by. It's always sold out. So I buy them when I can, but this smells amazing. And they usually sell it with the pump. Lately, it's come without it. But we have our one with the pump and we've just been refilling that one too. But boy, do I love this hand sanitizer. It doesn't dry my hands out, but it's still 62% alcohol. And it has this amazing orange scent and I just love it. So if you can get your hands on it, it's awesome. I'm not gonna show you the bottle. The top is like disgusting, but this is the Loving Tan Two Hour Express Self Tanner. I used this up a while ago. I'm honestly shocked it's in here because I haven't self tanned in months with winter and everything. But um, their Two Hour Express is definitely my favorite and Loving Tan is definitely my favorite self tanner. I feel like it's not streaky, it's not orange, it stays really well. Um, so that's what I've been using for years. I always get the dark, even though I'm pretty fair, just because that gives the color that I want, you know? I only have one hair one. I have a feeling in the next empties though, I'll have a lot because a lot of mine are like near empty. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This stuff is a great dry shampoo. Your hair will feel clean, but the smell is a little bit strong. Like I feel like if someone walked by me and had used this dry shampoo, I would smell it and know that they had used this dry shampoo. It's like very strong. It's not like the worst smell in the world. There are certainly other hair ones that smell worse, but it is something to know about this is that it is noticeable, but it makes your hair feel clean. So it is still one of my favorites. I definitely still prefer the Bumble and Bumble one though. It's slightly more expensive, but it smells better. Should we do some candles real fast? Is that weird? I haven't, no, I sometimes talk about candles in these. Well, I used up two, Bath and Body Works ones, the Vanilla Bean Noel, don't recommend. Vanilla Bean Noel is like my favorite scent from there, but it has zero scent throw. So I felt like I enjoyed it the first few days, like you could smell it, but I swear to you, after a few days of burning it, you don't smell it anymore okay. and I don't know. So that, I, I don't think I'm gonna buy that again. The Tis the Season, same thing, it smelled really good, but I didn't feel like there was much of a scent throw. So one that had a decent scent throw is this one from Trader Joe's. This is, they'll randomly sell candy. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. They'll randomly sell candles there, and this is their Honeycrisp Apple from the fall. Smells amazing, had a decent scent throw, but look, look at all that wax that's left. So what I might do is put it on, you know, like a candle warmer, just to get the rest of that scent out since I can't light it anymore. The wick is all the way to the bottom. So keep your eyes peeled. If you find the candles at Trader Joe's, I feel like they're pretty good. I also used up yet another, I almost didn't mention it, but I get asked about it a lot. The Crest 3D White Stain Eraser is still my favorite for, brushing my teeth every single day, morning and night. I sometimes will go into Sensodyne um, if I feel like my sensitivity is coming back, but honestly, it was way worse when I was pregnant. It's been progressively not nearly as bad, and now I don't feel any sensitivity in my teeth, so I, I feel just fine using this. So an empty for laundry, this is the Snuggle Super Care Lilies and Linen. I love this fabric softener. So I did a video with Snuggle a few months ago, and it was for their Super Care line, namely their fabric softener, their fabric sheets, and then like their like pellets, you know what I mean? Like their scent beads. This, I think out of those three products was my favorite. It smells so nice. The thing is, I feel like they're not getting as faded as they usually do. And so I have really been enjoying this. I'm on, I'm almost empty with my next one. And so it's already on my grocery list to get again. I'm still loving the other two products too, but I really feel like this is the star product. Actually, I didn't save. I've used up two of their boxes of the fabric sheets in this same scent and I love it. I'm on my next box, but I, I recycled that. I forgot to save it. Now they don't have a laundry detergent in that line. And this laundry detergent I heard about from Taylor Wynn and she was not wrong. This is the Purcell Pro Clean Discs. And oh my gosh. So this is the original scent and it smells, she described it well and I don't want this to turn you off, but it smells like men's cologne in a really good way. Like really clean, Oh my gosh, it smells good, like real good. And it makes your clothes smell really good. And these two together 
Our clothes smell incredible. I actually am doing laundry right now. I'm always doing laundry, you guys. <laughs> but I'm doing laundry right now, and I just feel like every time I get them out, our clothes smell amazing. So I wanted to bring that up as well. I already have yet another one of these going in my laundry room too. I think that's everything. So I hope that this was fun. I've been doing empties videos here on my channel for forever. I have a whole playlist if you wanna binge. Some of my more recent ones, I can link the playlist down below. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. I hope that you'll come say hey to me on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. Of course, I'd love if you subscribed as well. I upload three videos a week. I do makeup and beauty stuff, but I also do lifestyle and vlogs and all kinds of stuff. I'd love to have you join our little family here. <laughs> I almost said family family. Oh, you caught me. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.